Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jack Chang here and today we're going to do yet another property review. It is Avara Supute along Old Kang Road. So yes, this is Avara Supute. Uh, very very nice development. Uh, and I particularly like this facade which has caught my attention. Can you see? It consists of small metal plates, uh, individual metal plates and when you have a bridge, right? Basically, shows the breeze, you know, as if it's living. Okay, and <laughs> going back to Avara Sipute, uh, you basically have two blocks. I'm not sure if you can see, uh, one and two, for a total of 366 units. It's 33 stories tall. And at the bottom here, you have eight retail lots. Yeah? So the smallest unit here is 667 square feet. That's a one bedroom, one bathroom, and one powder room. And the largest is 1,216 square feet. That is a three bedroom and two bathroom unit. So we are actually at the start of Old Clang Road. Right beside there, right behind this is actually uh, Mid Valley Gardens already. It's about 800, 900 meters away. And yes, down here, all the way uh, goes on to the likes of Scott Garden, Miller Square, Pearl, Point. Okay, so without further ado, let's head in. So this is the drop-off area for Tower 1. And there's the security post. Yeah. Tower 2 is around the corner. Just need to be a bit careful. So the developer's office is somewhere inside one of the retail lots from what I understand. Uh, look at the facade. So I've also seen this facade in Star Residence KLCC. Yeah. Very very nice facade. Level 1 to 7 is basically your or oh, 1 to 8, sorry, 1 to 8 is your car park. And level 9 is your facilities. And also right on top 33, that's your facilities floor. Yeah. This is the turn up to the car park. And this is the lift lobby for Tower 2. So not too old, uh, VP sometime last year actually. Yeah. Washroom, male, female. And this is your lift lobby. Okay, let's head up. Stepping out the lift. There are a total of three lifts for this tower too but what's interesting is that although there are only three lifts which includes one bomba lift you only have a total of five units on this floor so really low density i would say two units here two units there and this is the unit that we will be reviewing walkway is generously wide you can see here a uh, total of eight feet so it certainly feels very premium and this unit that we are reviewing is a 850 square feet, three bedroom, two bathroom unit. So got a lot of space for your shoe cabinet. And this is a simple one uh, that the owner has put. This unit, by the way, is for rent or for sale, uh, either one. So if you're interested, uh, you can reach out to Jack. His contact is below in the description. So stepping in, very big area. Uh, you basically have your kitchen area, your kitchen, your dining, and your living. And the developer for this project, right, uh, Bashan, 
they have been very generous. Uh, so basically, it's fully furnished, and the equipment that they furnish it also is decently high quality. This is the DB, Avara Sapote, nice custom made uh, DB box. Single face, yeah. single face with the single line diagram for your reference. All these kitchen cabinets come standard. Uh, for all units, you have your kitchen cabinet. This is the fridge, Tekka, sink, that also by Tekka. Hood hop. Tekka, Tekka, and even a microwave also Tekka. Solid surface, white color for the kitchen cabinet with a gloss finish. Doors. And this door leading up to the yard. It's a glass door. Your washing machine also Tekka. Yeah. Icons are by Panasonic. I'm not sure if you can see all the four units. So the aircons are also provided by the developer and it's inverter models, five star, you can see. Video intercom again custom made, uh, quite they quite labeled it. Yeah, so if let's say you have any uh, gas, right? You want to come visit you know you want to validate you can uh, check out this is basically right in front of the right in front of the guard house so this is where guests will basically stand you know you can look at their face and say yes it's my guest you can come in the grant switches again very premium okay we check out the Rooms. So this is the smallest room and again this, this size is only 850 square feet But because it's so well optimized right that this room you can even fit in the queen size bed even for the smallest room So that's I would say very uh, Very good you know how often for 850 square feet unit can fit in a queen size bed And if you notice the flooring Yes this is actually timber solid timber flooring Yeah not even a uh, not even laminate timber flooring, which is really solid, awesome stuff. You know, it's very rare to find a solid timber flooring for this price point. It's partial view, two window panels, not too bad, decent, I would say. It's a laminate timber doors. It's a shared bathroom. So this is standard again uh, by the developer. This this uh, top and the bottom is cabinet. Brava for the sink and also the tap. Also for the water closet. And you have water heater, of course. Centralized, uh, the cylindrical type water heater above here. Yeah. yeah. The clean, simple tiles. And this is the other guest room. Again, very optimized. Very, it's a rectangular, squarish layout, right? So you can easily fit in a queen size bed. More than enough. This one gives you a good view, you know, you can face the windows uh, if you don't mind. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, Chinese, uh, not the best of uh, feng shui. Wardrobe here and then face there. You know, very nice view. Look almost all the way to the bottom, to the top. Yeah, window panels. And this gives you a very nice view of uh, Mid Valley. 
gardens and even a bangsa so so you can imagine at night right all lit up very nice the view that this is the new duke tree highway just open i think it's still free uh just open uh officiated in this month month of november if i'm not mistaken and right at the bottom there is of course Wu Kang Road. There is Federal. All these low rise houses. So your view will be unobstructed. It's the living. Very big. <laughs> so your dining table will likely be here in front there. Yeah. Probably an elongated one, or you can actually you want to extend the kitchen a little bit more. You can actually extend a bit it also. But yeah, very nice. I always like this stuff layout, right? Because the living, you know, dining is centrally located, and then you have rooms to your left and right. Because this is again like the communal area, right? For people to gather, you know, for the family to gather, you know, to have their activities, and then from there, you know, they can go to their rooms. You know? If you want to call people, you know, to dine also, you know, come up from here, come up from here. It's not too far away. Your rooms, right? Got data point. Yeah. Means I think the data point will be inside the room, the master bedroom. So if you want to have good Wi-Fi, again you can subscribe to Max Wi-Fi by Maxperts. It's a nine ringgit a month to have whole house Wi-Fi coverage. Very very generous. A, a wide balcony, I would say. 12, 12 13 feet. And these are aluminium uh, window shades, also provided, come standard by the developer. So you can just move this around. Yeah. Glass, tempered glass. Much better view. So we are at the start of Old Klang Road, right? And because we are at the start, so here to walk the Mid Valley, it's only approximately 800, 900 meters, I believe. So it's possible to walk, yeah. assuming it doesn't rain, because there's no proper covered uh, walkway. And that is block one. So block one is much more dense. 11 units per floor, you have four lifts. While this block, block two, it's only five units per floor, three lifts, and this is the smallest layout, 850. So if you want low density, you want to enjoy this low density exclusivity, this is the best unit or the most affordable unit to get for this tower too. And this is the master bedroom. So again, decent, is, decent space, you can put your bed here, you can put your dining, uh, sorry, not dining, your study table here, to this side because you have your data point and that's where you can put your you know mesh wi-fi and there you have your building wardrobe so yes very nice and again full window height to the top yeah. nice view wardrobe so all units here, uh, they also come with built-in wardrobe for the master bedroom. Yeah. This is also standard by the developer. And then, so again, the same uh, finishing. Brava, brava. Nice! Rain shower also. So if you're interested to get this unit here at Avara Sepute, do reach out to Jack. His contact is below in the description. He also has other units, uh, sub-sale also. Or if you want to get brand new units from the developer itself, do reach out to Jack. Okay? Now that we're finished reviewing this unit, 
Let's head down to check out the facilities. Let's go. We kick off our tour on the ninth floor. This is the lift lobby for Tower 2. Three lifts. And in this stepping out to this side, you have your gym room. So you notice, right? The gym room, facilities room, all of the rooms basically, they have top ceiling to floor height glass panels. Yeah. And you have blinds basically, if it's too bright, right, you put on the blinds, but very, very generous uh, in terms of giving you a total 360 view all around. Okay. Not the biggest of gym, but decent, I would say. Yeah. Again, there are not too many units, it's rather exclusive, only 366 units. And for 366 units, this size is okay, in my opinion. Water feature. From what I understand, at night is awesome, stunning. Not just interior here, not just this area, but also from the exterior of the building. Yeah, you got all these LED lights, yeah, and all this basically moves. You know, when when you have strong wind, right? All this, if you can see, it's actually moving. And also the building exterior, the facade. Let me try to zoom in. And I show you. Can you see? So all those metal claddings when it move, right? And this basically this this long beam, this steel beam there, has LED strips which will also light up. So when you have that lighted up, you can basically see the reflection of these lights, right? It shines onto these metal claddings, which in a way is breathing, you know, when there's wind. So it's a. Uh, from what I understand, it's really awesome. I'm not sure if I can get a video of that uh, because it's at night. Uh, yeah, if I do, then that's an added bonus. But yeah, all these uh, LED strips that I was saying, you know, soft lighting. And when it moves, it really gives it a very nice uh, living type of vibe to it. You have a function room. You have to book. Uh, so close down. Uh, power course, exercise power course equipment, outdoor gym. The water features all along, and even the water features itself, right? Very uh, nice, calm effect. Children playground. Again, they customize a lot of branding, Avara. So the developer, right, just some history about the developer. The developer, this is their first project in Malaysia, but they are not totally new to the construction industry. They actually have ventured into the construction industry in Papua New Guinea. Yeah, this is the games room. A very simple games room, uh, not much, just a ping pong table. Yeah, so going back to the developer, right, this developer, Bashan, uh, they started off with projects in Papua New Guinea and for those who don't know where Papua New Guinea is it's basically a country in the Oceania which is somewhat like if I, do, if I recall correctly it's above Australia uh, and it borders uh, Indonesia so this is a management office so yeah they have quite a lot of experience uh, in construction this property development in Papua New Guinea uh, before coming back to Malaysia, the founder is a Malaysian and uh, hence he brought back this Avara brand. So there are actually a number of developments in Papua New Guinea with this brand Avara. And Avara, basically in the local language, uh, Hirimotu, uh, it's a language, uh, one of the official languages in Papua New Guinea. It basically means new era. That's what Avara means uh, in the local Hirimotu language. Again, okay, you got all these uh, vertical lights, and this is the function room. So you can see it's very big. You know? 
no pillars blocking and you have basically glass panels all around so if you do an event at night right you can easily pull up the blinds uh, to get that awesome exterior view look at that nice lounge area so this is a swimming pool uh, oh, nice A lot, few cabanas. And you've got a very nice uh, lounge area there also. Yeah, with some sink so you can easily host a party, poolside party. More sitting areas uh, in between there. And here, right beside the swimming pool, you have a jacuzzi. This is also the jacuzzi. Uh, so they have two. I'm not sure is it supposed to be male, female, but yeah, I mean, always nice with, with, with some habits separated. And this is the kids' pool. Okay? And last but not least, you got some small reflexology puff here area to take your shower before jumping into the pool. Now that we have finished reviewing these facilities, let's head up to the highest floor which is the sky facilities on level 35. Let's go! Stepping on the 33rd floor, this is the highest floor and also the last facilities that we will cover. So immediately to my Okay, let's start on the right. To the right, you have one BBQ pit. So there are a total of two BBQ pits. This is one of it. Uh, you got a lot of seatings here. Uh, I like this type of stone cement setting. Easier maintenance. This is a total of 12. Got benches here to sit more. And even this type of uh, fitting right, they give you Sorento, which is again is decent. It's a decent brand. Sizable. This is quite big. The uh, grill here is missing. Yeah, you can see it on the other BBQ pit. I guess uh, if you want, you can get it from the management. And a lot of cabanas. Uh. So this overlooks. Let me see what view is this. Hmm. Looks towards Cheras. That is address, if I'm not mistaken. The address. Yeah, I did cover the address. The address too. Uh, and that is uh, RC residence, rather city residence. Yeah. All this is Sapute. This is Sapute. Oh yes, of course. You got uh, Modeka, Kiel Tower, Kiel CC. And TRX. So continuing on. I like all these lightings. Really curious to see how it is at night. From what I hear is really really awesome uh, when it's lighted at night. And also the view. So this is the other BBQ area. Gonna, again you got this uh, stone table for it BBQ pit yeah. and this is the yoga duck to make sure kids are always supervised because this is a damn big drop and this is it's only up to my lower than my waist so this is it really is quite dangerous yeah you can't let children uh, climb absolute no no uh, all these are lightning arresters that you see here and this again uh, basically connects all the lightning arresters yeah. 
Okay, I'm not sure. Okay. I'll show you the other lightning arrestors. But yeah, it's quite dangerous. <laughs> the, the part there. This is the sky bridge connecting the two different towers. Yeah, this is the lightning arrestor <laughs> that you see here. And here you can look down. And if you see right, you can just see the Avara logo again. Right there. <laughs> There's a lot of branding done by the developer. And this Avara. You know, custom made this Avara logo all around. Wall plant. of hammocks here yeah? and this got one more last facility uh, at the other end so stepping out here you have the sky amphitheater so basically a very very big screen uh, for for your projector this is your projector and this is your basically your sitting area. So if you want a nice movie, friends, families, uh, you can rent this space. It's available. And yeah, very nice view. Uh, you basically get a 360, okay not 360, probably 270 degree view of your KL skyline. Yeah, very very nice. Covers a lot. Almost almost 360 degrees, 270 degrees I would say all the way from uh, down south there I would say uh, towards uh, Cheras, Siri Kembangan, Serdang and you go further further up you know, towards KL you see all your main towers right all the four towers and then nearer here Sepute, Mid Valley, Bangsa there towards PJ, Bangsa South and then that's towards our sunway already. Okay, so that sums up the review of this uh, property, Avar Sepute. If I were to summarize, right, I would say this development is certainly a very uh, interesting development by this boutique developer. They're a new developer. Uh, but yet, you know, there's a lot of uh, quality items that the developer has put in. For instance, the teka, electrical items, uh, the solid timber flooring. These are not common things that you will find uh, for a property of this price range. It's close to a thousand ringgit per square feet, but then again, we are along Old Klang Road. And this is at the start of Old Klang Road, right at the start, you know, which is very close to uh, Mid Valley and Gardens already. Uh, you talk about Old Klang Road, right? Old Klang Road being one of the longest uh, roads in KL, one of the earliest roads also. If I'm not mistaken, Old Klang Road is 11 kilometers long. It's even, uh, if let's say from here, uh, this development, you go to KLCC or let's say KL Central or Bajaya Times Square, is that's even nearer than the whole of Old Klang Road, which is goes all the way up until uh, Sunway, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the Old Klang Road will intersect with LDP Highway. That's how long uh, Old Klang Road is. So yes, if you're interested to get this unit here, uh, it's for rent or for sale. You can reach out to Jack or if you want other units, other layouts, uh, other sub-sale units, you also can reach out to him. Or if you want a brand new unit directly from the developer, it's also available to reach out to Jack. His name uh, and contact is below in the description. What do you think about this property, uh, Avara Supute? Uh, let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel, do smash the like button, and I see you in the next video. Bye!